Neon Genesis Evangelion is one of the most fascinating animes I have ever seen. It took me three whole weeks to even begin to understand the ending to the show and the point of it all. However, one of the most fascinating things about Evangelion for me is the genius romance between Shinji and Asuka. The first thing to acknowledge is what Asuka does for the series and what she changes upon her introduction in Episode 8. Before Episode 8, Neon Genesis Evangelion is filled with what I could only describe as downer character. It is a downright gloomy and somewhat depressing show to watch due to how gloomy its main cast in. And the show is like this all the way up until episode 8, where this changes dramatically. This once dark, depressing, and gloomy show filled with psychologically broken characters turns into a fun, light-hearted action theory. It almost feels more akin to a Shonen Jump title than anything else. And this is due to Asuka. Asuka, upon her introduction, is so filled with funk and personality that she steals the show, taking the primary focus away from Shinji. Episodes 9 and 8 are filled with typical anime gags you would see in other anime. The wind blows up Asuka's skirt, giving Shinji and his friends a look at it, resulting in her slapping all of them, which is a very typical anime gag. Episode 8 being the first episode of the show that I would consider to just be all around fun to watch. As I stated, this is all because Asuka is an explosion of personality. However, this brings us up into the topic of the video. Asuka and Shinji's interactions are perhaps one of the most fascinating things in Neon Genesis Evangelion. Because on a basic level, Asuka and Shinji are fundamentally the same character. Yet at the same time, the exact opposite of each other would make them work so well together as a pair. Their personalities are both defined by their childhood traumas and the lack of parental love they experience as children. The major difference is the fact that they deal with these childhood traumas very differently. Shinji is a loner. He doesn't allow anyone in for fear of being hurt. This prevents Shinji from obtaining the love and affection he so desires. Asuka, however, deals with this by seeking validation and trying to prove herself. This leads to her desiring to be in the spotlight and be the very, very best. However, obviously this affection isn't real. She is only being given this affection because she's good at piloting the Evangelion unit too. And when somebody he does try to truly get close to her in the case of Shinji, she pushes them away, acting rude and obnoxious. This rude and obnoxious attitude only pushes Shinji farther away, making it harder for Shinji to understand her. This leads us to what I think makes this relationship so damn fascinating. Out of every single pair of characters in the show, they are the most capable of understanding each other emotionally. Shinji tries to avoid interacting with others in order to avoid pain, while Asuka craves attention. Asuka openly admits to one thing to be held by Shinji. She wants him to hold her. However, Shinji is too afraid of the pain that would come along with interacting with Asuka to do so. If the two of them could understand each other, they would be incredibly happy together. But this would require Asuka opening up to Shinji and treating him kindly, and Shinji opening up to Asuka and giving her the attention she desired. Something neither one of them is willing to do because of how afraid they are. There are multiple points in the theory where Shinji and Asuka come so close to obtaining that happiness they both so desperately desire, but fail due to their respective issues. In End of Evangelion, Shinji finally learns to love himself, and he ends up escaping human instrumentality. Obviously, there's way more to it than that, but that's not important for the sake of this video. The important thing to talk about is what is perhaps the most controversial scene in the entire story. Asuka and Shinji both lay on the beach after escaping instrumentality and surviving third impact. Shinji rolls over and begins to choke Asuka until she uses her hand to touch his cheek and he eventually stops and breaks down crying and she mutters the infamous line Now that Shinji is ready to start trying to let other people in, he is finally able to give Asuka the attention she desired and Asuka then touches him on his face, giving him the affection he so craves. However, it ends here, and we have no idea where this goes. Will Shinji and Asuka be able to interact without hurting each other? 
I don't know. What makes this relationship so interesting is that their character interactions are what drive the second half of Evangelion. Their actions are not just entertaining to watch, but also fascinating to study and analyze. Because as I stated earlier, if they are able to overcome their differences, it's safe to say they would be tremendously happy together. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day.